Okay, this is the targeted tutoring session for 10% rule. This video will probably be shorter than my previous videos because I don't have anyone in here right now in tutoring. So just pause it as you need to in order to write down the notes and um, draw your drawings and we will um, You'll be able to just press play when you're ready. I want you to start out by drawing this energy pyramid. Just draw this lovely energy pyramid. You don't have to draw these organisms. You can just label each level. So the first level here, you can just label that as grass. And then this one you can label insects. We'll label this rodents because they kind of look just sort of like gross little rodents and then this guy we'll label as owl over here these words in blue these are trophic levels go ahead and label these also so we start with producers then primary consumers then secondary consumers and then tertiary consumers you might want to pause the video now um, so that you can draw and label all of these things. Okay, I'm erasing everything off of the slide. Hopefully you um, wrote it all down. I want to call your attention now to these red numbers here, which indicate how many calories of energy are available at each level. So producers have a thousand, primary consumers have 100, secondary consumers have 10, and tertiary consumers have one. And so what this progression is, is it's basically 10% of the energy from each level moving up to the next level. 10% is super easy to calculate. You just draw your number. When a number is a whole number, it ends with a decimal. You just move your decimal to the left once, which will then give you the next number. So that's how 1,000 becomes 100. Move it over, then it becomes 10. Move it over, then it becomes 1. Move it over, then it becomes 0.1. Then 0 0.01, and so on. Okay. We're going to move to the next picture here. Okay, I like this image because it actually shows where the rest of the energy is going. So in this box here, red is energy flowing through the ecosystem. So this would be just like in that last slide, the amount of energy moving up. And these big blue zones here is the amount of energy that is used by these organisms as they are living their lives. So plants use 90% of their energy to grow, to reproduce, to do photosynthesis. These herbivores are primary consumers. They use 90% of their energy to do all their little things that they do. So everything that is alive uses 90% of its energy to complete their life processes. So 10% moves up, 90% moves out as heat. You can pause the video here to draw this. On this slide we're going to talk about the percentages of energy. I know I've mentioned in class several times that the producers, which are the, always the big ones down at the bottom of the energy pyramids, the producers always start with 100% of the energy. So they get their energy from the sun. There's our lovely sun. I'll draw it like a first grader. And the sun gives energy 
to the producers who then do photosynthesis and transform that radiant energy into chemical energy. But they always start with 100% of the energy. Always, always, always. So as you move up, if you're talking just percentages, you're going to take 10% of the energy to the next level. 10% of 10 is 1. 10% of 1 is 0.10 or 0.1. So this is the energy of the producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers. So you can see from this picture the reason that there are very few tertiary consumers in an ecosystem is because there just isn't very much energy by the time you get all the way up to the top to support that many organisms. So very few at the top, very many at the bottom. And if you've ever gone out into nature or hiking or whatever, um, you'll notice this. Most of the stuff that you see if you're looking around for evidence of living things are plants. Um, you might see some bugs, which are a lot of times primary consumers or secondary consumers if they're bugs that eat other bugs like uh, spider spiders or praying mantises or other awesome looking bugs. There, I'm going to draw a spider just for you guys. And that is not cute. Ooh, it looks like he has evil eyes. That was an accident, but that's pretty awesome. Okay, I'll pause this so you guys can, uh, well, you can pause it so you can copy all of this down, including my awesome evil spider. All right, here's our last little uh, slide of this particular presentation. This one is a practice, so down here it gives us 6,011 units of energy. So we'll do our math over here. 6,011 has a period at the end of it. If I'm going to move up to this level, I move my period over or my decimal over, so then I'm going to have 601.1 for this level. As I move up again, I'm going to take my decimal and move it again, so then I'll have 60. And then as I move up another level, I'll take my decimal, move it over here, and then I'll have 6. So I'll have 601, 60, and 6. There's obviously going to be some energy that is lost to decomposers. Decomposers eat and break down dead things. Whether they are plant matter or animal matter, they break down the dead things and recycle those nutrients back to the soil. So they're very important in ecosystems to keep that soil healthy. Um, I think that is it for this edition of Targeted Tutoring. Once again, this was Targeted Tutoring on the 10% rule. You need to know how to be able to calculate it, both with given numbers of calories and also using percentages. And again, percentages are super duper easy. They're always going to start with producers at 100%, and then you move up from there, 10%, 1%, 0.1%. And if we had a an apex predator on top of that, it would be 0.01%. Okay, that's all for this edition, and if you um, completed this, just make sure you bring me your notes so that I can give you credit. Thanks.